Hello, and thank you for joining us for this lesson on Workbook CRM. Make sure you check out our free live training webinar class schedule at www.lucidswitch.com webinar. Also, follow us on Twitter and Facebook for updates on workbooks, CRM best practices, and new video tutorials. Hello, folks. Welcome to the Lucid Switch Workbook CRM training video series. Today, we're going to talk about understanding and creating form layouts in the workbooks CRM. The first thing we want to do is talk about, you know, exactly what is a form layout. So I'm just going to go right ahead and show you, um, you know, what one of those are. So I'm going to click on New Sales Lead. So this is going to be an example of a form layout. Uh, basically, it's a layout with all the different form elements in it. So in order for us to create a customized form and lay out the different form elements how we want them to, the first thing we need to do is create a form layout because we start creating our pick lists and our custom fields before we get a chance or before we actually create the form layout, then we're not actually going to be able to move the different fields around and we'll, you know, you'll see how that works in just a moment. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is a, a new database, there's absolutely nothing in it right now, so this is exactly what you'd see if you're a new user to workbooks. Um, we're going to hit start. Um, just like uh, Windows, the, uh, Workbooks is uh, based on, um, you know, having a desktop and a start button and, you know, all the things that you want to do are basically derived from the start. So we're going to go into configuration, which is uh, sort of like where your back end is set up. And from here, we're going to go into customization and we're going to pick record types. This is where we select which record type we're actually going to pick the layout for. So while we're doing this, um, I'll show you a neat little trick. So the first thing is we're going to create um, a record type for the sales lead. So I'm going to click on the sales lead record type and pull open this window here. And then you'll see on the top left, uh, there's a little icon and that's uh, for the icon for sales lead. And you'll notice that each one of the different record types has its own icon. So you've got all these different icons here so that when you have a window open, you can actually see uh, what type of record is by looking at the top left. So from here, I can actually just left click on this icon here and you'll see an add shortcut on the desktop. I always want to do that first when I'm setting up a new configuration. Uh, this way, it allows me to basically get into the configuration easy, easily. So I'll click on the Close All Windows button here. And then if I click on the Customize Sales Lead icon, instead of having to go to Start um, Configuration and all that other stuff, I can just go right into it. So from here, we've got several different um, fields. We've got link fields, custom fields, record templates, and form layouts. So I'm going to click on the form layout. It says zero. I'm going to create a new form layout by clicking on the green plus button. And I'm going to name my form layout. Now, typically what I do is I name it out as a default sales lead layout. So that's that. And then I might put in a description and say this is the starter layout for my sales lead. And then I'm going to say prefer for desktop. And I'm going to also publish it. If I don't publish it, it will, it will not be available. So I click on that icon there, and I'm going to press Save. Now I've created my first form layout. You know, if I were to close out of this window here, um, I can either discard changes or continue editing. I, I can just discard the changes I've already created it. So I'm going to see that I've got a, uh, it back in my customized sales lead window here. I've got the default sales lead layout. It's published, and I prefer it for desktop. So if I want to get back into this, I would just click on it again. I can click on this icon here, or I can go to Start Configuration, Customization, Record Types, pick my Sales Lead, Record Type here, and then I can pick my Form Layout button here, and I can go in my default Sales Lead layout. So this is actually where I'd be able to create um, different types of sections and fields and whatnot, and I'd be able to move, you know, my items around. So that's really all I wanted to do is show you how to create a default um, layout because that's the first thing you need to do in order to go ahead and um, you know, start creating your custom form layout. And all we need to do, and that's pretty much all we need to know. So take a look at our next uh, you know video in the series, creating a form layout rule, and that will show you how to you know create different layout rules for different types of forms. Thank you.